The Ideal Spring Most of us are familiar with springs as they are used in many everyday applications. As you know, a spring can be stretched or compressed. An ideal spring is a frictionless, massless spring that obeys the relation F sub X applied equals K times X. In this equation, F sub X applied is the force applied to either stretch the spring or to compress the spring. We give the force the subscript X in this case to remind us that the stretching and compressing are happening linearly in one direction. In the ideal spring equation, X is the displacement from the unstrained at rest position. For example, if we are applying no force to these springs, they are at rest here in this position. If we apply a force that stretches the top spring, it undergoes a displacement x in this direction. The displacement is measured from the unstrained position. Similarly, if we apply a force to the bottom spring that compresses it from the unstrained position, it undergoes a displacement x in this direction. In the ideal spring equation, k is a constant called the spring constant. It's sometimes thought of as the stiffness of the spring, because as you can see from the relation, a spring with a larger value of k, or spring constant, requires a greater applied force in order to displace it a given amount. A spring is stretched when a force is applied to it. According to Newton's third law, the spring must also exert a force of equal magnitude in the opposite direction. If an object is attached to the end of the spring, this reaction force from the spring, also called the restoring force, is applied to the attached object. The restoring force of an ideal spring is given by Hooke's law. This equation, f sub x equals minus k times x, has the same magnitude, k times x, as the force applied to the spring that we saw earlier. The minus sign in this expression indicates that this force points in a direction opposite to the displacement of the spring from its unstrained length. We learned previously about different forces that can contribute to the net external force applied to an object. These were the gravitational force, the normal force, frictional forces, and the tension force. If an object is connected to a spring, the restoring force of the spring can also contribute to the net external force applied to that object. We will use the ideal spring to study harmonic motion.